Imagine a motor smaller than your head but incredibly powerful. That's exactly what Koenigsegg, the car geniuses, have created. It's called a Quark E-motor and it's a game changer. This tiny marvel produces 330 horsepower, making it stronger than most cars. But here's the jaw dropper. When you combine two Quark motors, you get a mind-boggling 660 horsepower. It's like carrying a power pack bundle in your backpack. Swedish engineering at its finest. So forget what you thought about electric motors being boring. Koenigsegg has unleashed a compact beast that's set to revolutionize the automotive world. Let's dive into it. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Koenigsegg has done something incredible with this one. They didn't stop at the one motor though. They made two of them called the Quark and the Terry. When you put these two motors together with a special device called an inverter, you get a crazy 660 horsepower. And guess what? It weighs less than 85 kilos. That's like carrying a bundle of power in your backpack. It's all thanks to the amazing Swedish engineering. Now, let's take a trip back in time. It all began in 1994 when a young man named Christian von Koenigsegg, who was just 22 years old, had a dream. His dream was to create the fastest sports car in the world. After two years of hard work, his dream became a reality. People like Ricard Rydell, Pico Trollberg, and Kelly Rosenblatt were amazed when they test drove the car. Koenigsegg even showed off their creation at the fancy Cannes Film Festival. That's how confident they were in their car. And it paid off. The Koenigsegg CC8S, their first official car, was a hit. It had the most powerful engine ever put in a car that was made for lots of people to buy. It even got a spot in the Guinness World Record. The engine was originally from a Ford V8, but Koenigsegg changed it to make it even better. The Quark motor is a true marvel of engineering that can be used in many different ways, like in aerospace, marine vehicles, and electric powertrains. So, here's the fascinating part. The brilliant minds at Koenigsegg combined two completely different motors to make the Quark E-motor. They called it Raxium Flux, and it might sound made up, but that's because it is. Let me explain how it works in simpler terms. Imagine coils that rotate between magnets. Depending on the direction they go, you have axial flux that moves along the axis more like a perpendicular motion, and radial flux that moves around the outside. Radial flux motors are cheaper and commonly used in electric vehicles, but they need more revolutions to reach their highest power. Axial flux motors, on the other hand, provide more torque at low speeds, but they need lightweight and very strong materials to handle the stress. Now, here comes the magic. By combining these two motors, Koenigsegg has created an outstanding balance of torque, power, RPM, and weight. The Quark E motor weighs only 30 kilos, which is lighter than the motors Tesla uses in their everyday models. The Quark motor produces an astonishing 335 horsepower and a whopping 443 pound-feet of torque. It's a true powerhouse packed into a tiny package. However, it's important to note that the peak power doesn't last for long, approximately 20 seconds, before settling at 134 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. Still, that's plenty of power for most applications. Andra Shekeli, the e-motor development lead at Koenigsegg, has spilled some fascinating details about the Quark motor. They've crafted it from some seriously impressive materials. The shaft, for instance, is made from 300M steel, a super strong and lightweight material used in motorsport and aerospace. To maximize efficiency and reduce size, Koenigsegg has employed direct cooling, a highly efficient cooling method. The rotor, on the other hand, benefits from Koenigsegg's carbon fiber technology, ensuring a combination of lightness and power. But how does it stack up against Tesla? Well, Tesla's Plaid model boasts an astonishing 1,006 brake horsepower and over 1,000 pound-feet of torque. Of course, we shouldn't directly compare apples to oranges or combustion engines to electric motors, but it gives us a sense of perspective. Koenigsegg has always been a pioneer in lightweight design, and the Quark is no exception. They've implemented air core technology on the rotor, the same cutting edge material used in carbon fiber wheels, steering wheels, and seats. Their fearless approach to using carbon fiber wherever possible is evident. 
Take, for example, the rear wheels of the Jesco, weighing just 8.4 kilograms each. It's truly mind-boggling. While Tesla may have more power, the Quark stands strong with its compact size and reliable performance. Unlike Tesla's full electric approach, the Quark is designed to work alongside an internal combustion engine. But not just any engine, it pairs perfectly with the Koenigsegg's Jamera TFG engine, featuring their innovative, seamless free valve technology. Now, if you know Koenigsegg, you know they do things differently. The TFG engine is a perfect example. It may be small, a 2-liter twin-turbocharged three-cylinder, but it's a powerhouse. When combined with the electric motor on the crankshaft, it delivers a massive 600 brake horsepower to the front wheels. But that's not all. The Jamero has four seats, eight cup holders, and a staggering total output of 1,700 horsepower. The Quark E motor plays a vital role in this Swedish tag team. It handles instant acceleration, while the combustion engine provides top-end power. Koenigsegg claims the Jamera can reach a top speed of 248 miles per hour effortlessly, and they're not stopping there. Alongside the Quark, they've introduced the Terry, a lightweight electric motor capable of 660 brake horsepower. With torque vectoring technology, it sends power to each wheel for enhanced handling. Koenigsegg is breaking boundaries, combining electric and combustion power for an exciting future of cars. The Jamera's plug-in hybrid model is just the beginning. We can only anticipate what they'll create next. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comments section below. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.